Hi, choosing is for nerds, so I decided to ask a nerd friend to pick a bunch of demons for me to beat. I shuffled these and I will be beating them in a randomized order. I know my friend as we have known each other for years by now, so I expect a very good set of levels. And no GW Russia. This is also partially because he is stupid and doesn't know any bad levels. Let's see what I have to sit through first then. <laughs> Oh great, a topical level, oh god. Um, I'm not a political channel, so I won't be pointing out the message that this level is trying to portray or anything, I'll just be talking about the gameplay. GW Russia is a very old level that was made probably under the influence of something I like to call stupid juice. I would not suggest you take this alleged substance because it makes you make steaming garbage levels. And just like politics, that is bad. The ball in this level is oddly a lot harder than anything else for some reason. On top of that, I got Got very unlucky on this level. Didn't like it, but it was easy, so I didn't hate it too much. Five minus out of ten. Now let's see what I have to beat next. Okay, I'm just cutting straight to the case with this one. This is the least original demon I've ever beaten. This is legit invisible deadlock tier of unoriginality. Xanthic Alpha just took Clopstep, completely remade it, and changed like two parts, and that's the new level apparently. Some parts are even the exact same as in the original. Like, come on Xanthic, what the f*** is this level? I'll put them side to side and you'll see that there's basically no difference. It's actually really bad. Like, you had to ma remake the level from scratch and not one moment in that remake making process you thought oh this is a stupid idea really whatever and yes this level is very unfun and unbalanced because of this three out of ten next so i just beat club step ex like you can see here didn't record rolling any of these not that i had like any reaction to them don't worry <laughs> are you kidding me hmm. oh my god please go back Legend of Andromeda is a supreme piece of shit made in the time that fossils still had flesh on their bones. There aren't many levels from the Ice Age that have aged well, but this one is a special case. It just looks bad, nothing much else to say. On top of that, this shit part is ridiculous. My brother in Christ, pray to a god of choice and clench your ass cheeks, because winning the lottery is more likely than passing this blue pad infested shit part. It's parts like these that make running a suicide helpline a lucrative business. Lots of faith falls and blind jumps really put this present into a nice disgusting bow what a piece of shit this is fart of 10 just spin that bitch that f sucked ass i just beat legend of andromeda which is awful oh so bad please load why isn't it loading oh club drop another f club step remake bro what is it with all of the club step remakes in my goddamn monthly themes either way despite being as original as disagreeing with the german men that wear the kanye west crucifix there are some likable qualities to this one. Some parts are overhauled, some parts are just club step but slightly different. Yeah, not an interesting level really. Instead of beating this mid-ass level, leave a like and subscribe for free bitches. At least that is more interesting. 6 out of 10, let's move on. We beat club drop gamers. Look, it's club drop, the best level of all time. Let's see what's next. The f*** is Neon Drive. The f*** is that? It sounds like a map pack level. I'm still confused why he picked this one to be on the list. It's the most uninteresting piece of work ever made with no parts that have anything to say about them. Like, I'm actually serious. Why the f*** is this here? I didn't even like playing it because I got very unlucky. 4 minus, which is a lower enjoyment than Mr. McShit ship part over there. So far, these have not really been the most difficult levels ever made. So let's hope that, you know, continues. So I finally f***ing beat another level. Okay, let's see what the next one is. Oh, f*** off. <laughs> Okay, this is a rare occasion where I will show my enjoyment rating before I actually explain what I like and don't like about a level. This got a 2 out of 100, which means a 0 minus out of 10 enjoyment rating from me. This is the second worst time I've ever had beating any level. I cannot describe how much I f***ing hated playing this half-baked dumpster fire. I mean, it's not a secret that I hate Excel levels, so this level already started on the wrong foot. Learning this wasn't actually that bad, but that isn't because the level is fun to learn, that's mostly because I already had played this level m multiple times before, I just dropped it six or seven times. Similarly to most Jonathan GD levels, this level really only shows its true colors when you're playing from zero. When you start doing that, all of the Jonathan GD-isms will jump out and bite your arm 
arms off whenever they get the chance. Just like its predatory predecessor, Future Funk 2 barely functions half the f time. The double jump robot in particular just tends to not work. Plus, this is what I like to call a speech bubble death simulator. Like, come on, how do you make a level this f***ing poorly? I know I don't sound that mad, but that's mostly because I have a pretty severe cold and I can't f***ing breathe. This level also just gets harder and more inconsistent as you go, which just adds on top of the annoyance of it all. I just, I f***ing hate this level and nothing anyone can say will change my opinion on that. Let's hope I never have to play another sequel level ever again. So after 20 f***ing days, I finally beat Future Funk 2, which was miserable. I hate that level. One of the worst things I've ever played in my entire life life and then both the recording doesn't work because i had a game open in the background that it was recording for some reason and on top of that now i have to play for matilda 2 <laughs> beautiful oh my god what the f is this my brother in Christ, you forgot to finish your demon level. This got number two in my list of worst levels I've ever been, which is pretty apparent looking at its excuse for decoration. Gameplay wise, it's pretty bad, but I've played far worse before and since. There are some positives about this level though. For example, the robot gimmick is actually very cool and unique. Though this jump is very badly designed, the last like 40% of the level is also just this awfully difficult and inconsistent UFO, which would have made this one a conspiracy theorist level for some reason. But as somebody with standards, I do not believe in this, so this doesn't make me happy whatsoever. I would never believe in shitty 2.0 levels anyway. 6 out of 10. Go wash your hands after playing this filth. Let's see what's next. Okay, so I just beat 4 Matilda 2, which is horse shit. One of the worst levels I've ever beaten. And so it will... What the f***? Pick step. Get your comically cartoony pajamas on, fellas. Because this is a tedious ass level with nothing much to point out in it. Great. I'm crying inside. This level gets its name from the Minecraft music disc of the same name. Which is the most interesting part of the level. Because the decoration is so f***. Boring, especially because it wasn't even made that long ago. And on top of that, the gameplay just blows ass. It is very choke point heavy, insanely unbalanced. And it's also XL, so yeah, just throw that on top, I guess. This is just such a boring level with some of the most inconsistent and boring gameplay of all time. I mean, the first click is already indicating what you're going to have to go through to beat this shit. No thanks, 2 plus out of 10. Come on, the next level has to be, you know, even remotely playable. Okay, come on, come on, we can do this. Okay, so I just beat Pig Step, which is maybe the stupidest, worst <coughs> level you could have ever picked out for me. That was so... So f***ing boring and buggy and inconsistent and unbalanced and choke point heavy. It was just, um, it was just very bad. It was also just one time speed the entire way. Plus it was XL. Like, f*** off. I hated that level so much. Okay, let's see what the next level is. <laughs> Being fully transparent, I was not looking forward to this one, I'm not going to lie. From the namesake's infamous reputation as the Olive Green Nine Circles level, it didn't leave me with much hope that I would like this level. Surprisingly though, I was very wrong. I thoroughly enjoyed this level. It's consistent, well-balanced, fun, short, everything I want in a partner. Honestly, love this, though there isn't much else to say about it, besides the invisible shit here and there, but you can look over those, don't worry. 8 out of 10. Next, so I just be down-based. The medium demon, not the stupid extreme. It was very good. I don't know how that level was like one of the best ones, but it was really f good. Let's see what I'm going to have to do next. <laughs> what the f is? <laughs> what the f is that? Merry Christmas, all of my fellow shape lovers. May I interest you in the most mid Christmas level you've ever seen? What about the weirdest start to a medium demon ever conceived? How about a bit of a discount on the old patented midometer, which detects if a level is mid? It works, like you can see. It detected this very level being mid. I would personally give it a 6 minus out of 10, but at least 9 out of 10 dentists recommend this level, so what do I have to say? You can always try again and see what's up next. Okay, so I just beat Snarlaxmus, which is the most mid-level I've ever beaten. <laughs> Let's see what is up next, club f you. If necessary, vomit outside, not inside. This is club step by memory and fucking awful. Decoration wise, this is pretty good for 2019 standards. Sadly, they somehow f***ed up club step's gameplay by moving shit and making a lot of parts just ever so slightly different that they become insanely awkward. Great, what else is there to say? It's just awkward, awful club step. Three plus out of 10. I have a quest. 
Kicking my friend in the nuts with the power of Thor, will he survive the power of the sun be directly directed into his manhood? Well, that's for next time.